Welcome back, we are playing Invisible Ink, Contingency Plan with modded agents and modded guards. We have the Sankaku Research Facility. Before we go in, let's spend some of this money, we have so much money. We're going to install Piercing Scanner on Decker. So now he has Armor Piercing 4, we're also going to upgrade Strength to Max on both of our other agents. We still have 2,400 money, but that's I'm fine. Not going to if we find a use for it in here, there will be a nanofab. I think we get to see two nanofabs, one in the research facility and then one in the foundry lab. There may also be a shop cat, but I think we have a pretty good shop cat loadout for now. The entry. And of course, once we finish these two story missions, we get more missions after that. So let's use Guff to peek here. That is an empty room, except for three guards. There's a facility database here, so maybe we should deal with that somehow. Oh, it's not an empty room, there's a door here. I hope we don't have to get into there. There is also a console we can econ chip. Getting money is worth it. Wisping could be good, but we'll peek here first as well. There is a shop cat. Of course, we already have five very good programs here, so we're unlikely to want to get into this shop cat, but we can do it. I think we're going to send Mist this way. We can peek through these doors as well. Let's econ chip this console. Buster chip the safe. That gives me enough AP to peek through one of these doors. So we have another guard to wisp. Let's peek here as well. That is a demon database with a demon on, as usual. This is likely to be our best chance to wisp, so let's do this now. So we need to hide. We can hide in here, not with Decker. But we will need to hack this camera next turn as well. Facility database could be pretty useful. We'll need to take down this drone, so let's prepare for that. We have gotten into this safe, yeah. And of course we have the system admin who's going to be coming through. I think we just get out of the way of this drone for now. We cannot control him. Failsafe protection, so he just reboots when you hack him. And he has an increased scanning range. Let's just maintain vision here. This drone is stationary. This guard is going to move out. He is the drone engineer. So he reactivated... He reactivates KO and hacked drones within four tiles. Which is pretty frightening. Now we could maintain vision here or we could move up and try to get out of this room next turn. The advantage of maintaining vision is if we see if guards are moving around. We're not in a particular hurry. We do have to be here until turn 20. So let's also put a parasite on here for one power. We'll be able to data blast this next turn. I think we leave it like this. We see an Akuma drone. We see another guy walking around. That's our system admin. So now we need to hit this drone. Might as well hit some other things at the same time.
This guy's going to be looking at the door. So we could have a look through this door with the camera drone. It's probably worth doing. Do we want to move up to here? Maybe, maybe not. Let's do this one. Steal from this drone. I'm not over eager to hack it. Unless we it turns out we need to. I think we'd just like to steal from a human guard and try to get a pass card because that lets us through both of these two doors. So we might just wait for this system admin to get here. Let's take a look at the map. So this is likely to be just a 4x4 four four room. We're looking for a transporter that gets us to the next mission. We'll probably need to take this down, so let's put a parasite here. I don't think we'll need to put a parasite on this drone. On the other hand, if we don't hack it... I guess we can't get into this room anyway. And if we do hack it, we just have to pin it. And then it wakes up and we have a problem. And because these guards are walking diagonally in this room, we don't really have a safe spot anyway. So let's just hide out. I guess we can use Guff to get proper vision here. At least we would be able to next turn. Let's do it here. So no cameras around there. And then we're just stuck in here for a turn. I think that's all the hacking we want to do for now. Oh, this drone has been rebooted because of the drone engineer. Okay. There's nothing here. Forgot about this guy. So he scans and notices monster. Hmm, we are going to be able to get out of here. Yeah, so we don't get this drone for the next turn. We can actually get someone to steal from this guy. That should probably be Guff. I bet he can't get there now. That's going to be... Can get up this far. It's two and a half, so I can get there and then through the door. We could stim him. That shouldn't be necessary. Let's take this camera down since that will be necessary. We're not going to want to hit this drone for the same reason as before. Let's do it that way. <laughs> So I can take a peek through this door. Let's see 
he does have a pass card. We'll do the stealing with Guff. This does get me out of the room. We know what this guy is doing. So long as we don't hack anything that moves him around. That gets me a bit more money. We need to move Monster into safety. That only gets me out of the room. So we have to stim. So that we can both get out of the room. This gets me up this far. That should be fine. As far as I can tell, nothing should be looking at this door, so let's try opening it. That gives us a chance to peek fully. We've got another camera down there. We shouldn't need to be on melee here, but we might as well. We want to use this next turn. So let's hit. I guess we don't really want to do that. This should work. That way we're not taking anything with a demon. That sends the sysadmin elsewhere. That's a bit odd. Can't I peek on this guy? This admin should be interested in that, so he'll go out this door. He won't come this long way around. That would be silly. Let's get up to here. Maintain vision. Shouldn't need to be on Overwatch there. And let's stick a parasite on this camera as well. We have two turns on this econ chip. That one's worth 300 money. Oh, we don't have to be in this mission until 20 turns. I'm being silly. It's the next one that we want to be there for 20 turns on. So there's no need to take it slow. Okay, this drone's going to be very annoying. If we get a chance to wisp it, that will be very useful. This drone is also quite annoying. Let's get into here. Nothing up here. This should be completely safe. We've got a camera down there. a demon database, which we probably don't want to take blind. Unfortunately, I can't hit it. Because I can't see these squares. That's the way this game works. You can only click on a square that you've seen. And you can't peek through these doors either, so that's not going to work.
this guy's not stolen from. This guy's not wisped. This drone isn't wisped. So now could be a good time to wisp. Could have something in this room as well, so let's send Decker down here. Guess I could have scanned this while I was next to it, her. That would have made sense. Cost me nothing to do. Just an empty room with a console that's worth quite a bit of money. I'm not completely sure about this being safe, so I'll end in cover here. Let's get down to this console so we can econ chip it next turn. Could plant an EMP to hit this camera, but I think we're better off just waiting for a parasite. Uh, we hit another drone up there. I hadn't noticed that. So we've got this drone wisped as well. What are we going to hack? This camera drone looks stationary. We may not need to hack it. We can get around it to get to this safe. This alerted drone is going to be annoying. We need to take this camera. Now, I think we could just take this demon database right now. Good. That's what I wanted to happen. Obviously. And now this sysadmin is coming out this way as well. Um, so obviously this is not what I wanted to happen. Where can I get Guff to? Could move him up to here. The door isn't noticed by this drone. We need to get someone up here anyway. This drone's going to go away. So we can get further in here next turn. This guy's going to be looking at this. So that's fine. We have another drone, Akuma 2.0. This is the contingency plan expansion. Armor 3, 180 degree line of sight, local scanner, magnetic reinforcements, and he's validate. That's not very good. This is a super assault enforcer. Not sure exactly what this means. Just says heart monitor and heavy armor one. So in what sense is he a super assault enforcer? Is he going to shoot on sight? I don't really want him to shoot on sight, but maybe I don't have the option. <laughs> I could go on to Overwatch here, but then we're going to hit this guy when he comes through. If this guy is like the other assault guards in this mod, 
then he'll shoot me immediately as soon as he sees me. Which I do not want to happen at all, because we don't have a med gel. We haven't found the nanofab. Decker here doesn't have a... melee weapon. That validate was the worst thing that could have happened when we took this, wasn't it? That went downhill very quickly. I probably just want to kill this guy. This thing we can't control. So it has more AP when the alarm level is higher, that's not good. And it has an increased scanning range. Shouldn't be scanning though, so that's fine. Is there any drone here that I can control and use to kill this guy? There's this thing, which is also going to reboot as soon as we control it. This one is controllable. This one is controllable. Both of them have very high firewalls though. I'm just going to hope that this guy isn't shooting on sight. Or that he's going to come out this way. If necessary, I can go onto melee here if he does come into this room. I guess I could have used Guff to distract him with this thing. Let's just bite this bullet. Obviously, we're most interested in what happens here. This guy moves last. Okay, we do take him out. I'm fine with that. <laughs> now we want to just do whatever nasty things we can to this guy. And that includes paralyzing him right now. Should absolutely be worth it. Even if it means I'm slower to get through here. We can't get through here anyway because this one is watched by this drone. So this probably connects around here. We'll try to avoid going through this door. prefer this guy to reboot this safe. So let's get him interested in that spot. If he's here, we will be able to get past him next turn except with Guff. I can also use Monster to pin this guard next turn. Probably reasonable to use monster for that. I think we'll be able to get around him. Who are we wisping? Someone up here, maybe? This drone? Is it better for me to just hack something with a data blast? No, 
That's Wisp. Okay, it's just this guy. I think that's worth it if he's just going to shoot on sight. Let's see what this says. Yeah, so it wasn't showing us everything. We can't kill him. He just has a two-turn KO instead. He does shoot immediately. So I'm very glad that we took him out. And we'll want to paralyze him a few more times. <laughs> Let's just do this for the net downlink, I think. Pass the turn there. He recaptures this camera, that's unfortunate. We're not worried about this shop cat, we already have plenty of good programs. So we can get up out of this room up to here. That was slightly dangerous, wasn't it? He can actually see this square. Or notice that square. I could shock trap this door. I'm not going to. Hey, what was that? This should be safe to get up to. There's our nanofab. I should be completely safe on this square. Because someone can't come out of this door and then look this way. They have to go that way. What? I'm not going to take out this guy's heart monitor. We don't want to knock him out. We don't know if someone comes out of this door. So it may be sensible just to hide here. But we have tall cover protecting us from this guy. He should reboot the safe next turn. It's fine for us to take this mask. I'm not too hot on the authority. So there are safes that we want to get into. The mask doesn't do anything because we've already taken the demon database. I guess I could actually get up to here. No one comes out of this door. Let's do this. Oh, now he's going out there anyway, that's fine. And what are we hacking for free? Maybe this, just for net downlink. Hmm, looking around. Oh, we hit this drone. That was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to hack that drone. Two turns on the econ chip. That's our exit. It's a transport pad, but it's locked down. There must be a failsafe mechanism somewhere that we can override. This will be a room here, I think. So we should send someone down here to look at that. Let's do that with Decker. No guard there. Mm. 
two cameras here and a Felix. So what else do we need to do? I've got this camera drone. And I need to avoid being within four tiles of this guard. So this works. As does this. That gives me some more vision. So we've got a safe in here. I don't remember hacking that drone at all. I think we're probably going to have to do this. So we do this one first and then take the modulate. of importance. That does send the sysadmin out here. It's a little bit unfortunate. I think I should be safe to do a running trick here. Don't see any sound bugs nearby that we didn't steal. Did you hear that? So that's fine. So we're looking for two of these things that we need to hack and press in the same turn. One of them could be here. The other one could be here. I think that's where they'll be. Getting into this room is going to be difficult because there's no door on this side. We have to go through this door and this door. We can cloak to do it. I guess I could have EMP'd this safer. And the cameras. Oh well. I think it's worth taking the modulate just in case there's something good in the nanofab. We have so much money that we want to make use of it. Looking around. Huh, nothing. That's fine. So we want Guff to look in this safe. We get the site location. I am going to become encumbered with that, but that's fine. Let's send Decker in here. Yep, that's relay switch number one. Over there is a ring zero security switch. They come and pass. We have to actually hack this. We can't just EMP it. Security lock. Somewhere nearby will be the switch's partner. So because there is a drone exactly here, we cannot get in on this turn. I could plant an EMP now. Got an EMP3, which hits quite a bit. We can hit this safe as well. I'm not sure if a human guard would hear that. If they did, we'd have to take him out. One of these drones was magnetically reinforced, but I think they had no hearing. So this seems good to do. Go on to melee here. We can cloak next turn and get into these rooms. This drone will will be killed, but that's fine. 
I'm going to need to take that. I think that's it for this turn. This drone's now alerted, which is not ideal. There go the firewalls. Not the best. We do have a buster chip. Let's use this cloak now. There's the other security screen. So that gets me up to here. a lot of power. I can bust a chip this thing now. That's five firewalls. That's pretty high. This thing's only on three. Looks like we don't have any more locked doors to get through, so let's just drop this. This guy shouldn't see the door because of the tall cover. It's fine. This nanofab is being rebooted because of that EMP. So I can't sell this just yet. Get this buster chip cooling down as soon as possible. <laughs> we have one turn left on this, so we might as well use up this power. And there's this thing to hack as well. I need to use one more power somehow. Okay, let's leave it like that. Just close the door so when this drone does a scan it doesn't detect me. Okay, it does detect me. Actually, step onto this drone. It's blocking my door. That's annoying. <laughs> it has magnetic reinforcements as well. So that means I can't get into this safe. Plant this EMP. Oh. 
Ready to paralyze this guard again next turn, which I do want to do. I'm not sure what to do about this now. I guess I have to do that. And this, and take the validate. Otherwise, I'm just going to be gone when this thing, when my cloak runs out. Two turns left on that. We do get the emergency reserve next turn at least. If this thing wasn't blocking the door, this would all be fine. I do need to put this parasite on here, don't I? Or I hack it next turn. I guess I shouldn't have been exactly blocking the door, in that case it would have come in and then gone a bit further in, I guess. Do I want to take this out immediately, or do I want to parasite it right now? I think we take it out next turn. Should be a little bit better, I can still get into this safe. As long as no one is looking. Decker's just doing nothing here. Okay, this drone is apparently not opening the door, so that's fine. This drone is not going to see me as such, so I'm still being cover. So now the urgent thing to do is to hack this thing and accept to validate my favourite demon. Yes! Enforcer Drone 3. Failsafe protection, so we can't hack it. Heavy Armor 2, local scanner. Let's just leave this thing in the corner, shall we? We have to wait in here to use this switch anyway. We can use this console on the way past. We have to pin this drone. Stick that on because why not? Are we going to be out of here in seven turns? I'm not convinced about that. This thing can take him out for another four turns. Are we going to be out of here in 11 turns? I'm not so sure. We do have a few more consoles to get. We've gotten into one. Two, three, four safe. So this is the last safe. We might not be able to get into there. We could use Decker's cloak. This cloak might come off cooldown <laughs> by the time we're able to get in there. Let's just go here for now. Maintain vision. We're going to have this alerted drone here, so if I don't do this now, the issue is if I put the shock trap on and then this guy come, this drone comes through the door. 
then the drone takes the shock trap rather than this guy, so then we wouldn't have the full 11 turns. This much is clear. In fact, it may be correct to run here. Yeah. I think we just put the shock trap on and then if it looks like this drone's going to come through, then we hack it. Since this drone is alerted anyway, probably do want to start hacking it with a parasite. Send the turn there. That's not good. Why was this guy... Why did this guy become alerted? Did he see a dead drone, or...? I'm not sure about that. So that gives us a big hit on the alarm level. Yeah, this drone is going to come and do the shock trap right now, isn't it? Let's just do this minus the authority. Can I do this without the authority? Means I don't get that drone, but that's fine. Quite happy to reboot this one. We haven't stolen from this guy, so let's do that now. This guy's not going to see out the door. Just see the door though. It's probably good to have done that anyway. So at least it means this guy's out for only one turn, so we have to pin him. We've gotten into this safe. I can't get to this one. This comes back next turn. We do have to hack both in the same turn. Let's take that down for the net down link. I think we probably just move monster towards this way. Hope. Yeah, so there's a drone, there's something here. That's an Akuma drone. Maybe it's ill advised to bring monster this way then. This is tall cover, so we might be able to get away with it. I think that's good enough for now. We do have to pin this thing, we have to wait for this to reboot. This is still mine. Which is good, which means I don't have to rehack it. This thing did not reach the door, which is fine. That gets us our exit. 
The security system has been deactivated. Serves them right for buying cheap knockoff equipment. If they'd bought those parts from me, they'd still be locked out. You should always get your parts from Monster. Okay, now we have the problem of getting out of here. This may be my only chance to get through here. And that does mean abandoning this safe. There's a guard here that we didn't steal from. Also, there is also a drone here. Who is almost looking at the door. This is our last chance to get monster through. This should be fine. We can get up to the console. The drone will move one square forward and I'll still be in cover. I'm not sure if I actually want to do this. So I can't hit both this camera and this drone at the same time. Let's do it this way then. This is you this uses all of my power. So the siphon does nothing, the firewalls on the safe go up. We get this drone, so we can pin it. We've only got it for one turn, so let's decide later what we want to do with that. I could steal from this guard right now. I could deliberately get seen from this camera and get into this safe. Could just take him out. This much is definitely happening. Morning. I'd like to know what this guard's gonna do. I think I use this opportunity to get up to here. I'm just gonna assume that this drone is going through the door because that's what it was interested in. That gives me a chance to steal here. Worth it. This guy's gonna go away, so I'm not gonna go onto melee. This drone shouldn't see me. We should be fine like that. Let's bring this thing up. We've searched, but not expertly searched. sell this silly accelerator chip, which we don't want. I guess that's it for this turn. We get the emergency reserve next turn. So we'll just cheat on this camera. This does raise the alarm level when we do this. If there's another camera here, that will raise it by two and we get the extra guard. There is no camera there. So I think I am willing to do this. I should try to... 
get some extra AP from net downlink, that seems correct. Yeah, the good news is this brings the drones this way rather than towards where I'm interested in, which is the exits. This gets me out to here. I can do this with seven and a half, six and a half, five and a half, four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, one, zero. So I can bust a chip this camera right now. Let's do that. It gives me more opportunity for net downlink. Perfectly counted. I think that's it. We don't need to send Deck up, up here for anything. So we're just going to wait for this one console. We're not going to try and get any more. That would be a bit greedy. We already have plenty of money. Money is stopping. It is no longer so useful as it used to be. Get out here. We are pinning this drone. Let's hit this. And probably this for good measure. Plant this one here now, which will hit all of these drones again. I think this square hits all of them ideally. That takes more firewalls off this guy. Maintain vision down that corridor. Keep this drone pinned. We can wisp something. Okay. take the net downlink on this. I guess we don't really need net downlink right away because we've got two turns left on the econ chip, but no problem. They've been here. Doing. We're not getting into any safes, so that doesn't matter. This drone is still being pinned. I think it's sensible now for us to just move up here. Let's just throw this away. So the drones have something to be distracted by. I 
move up here, get this last console next turn. It's worth 400 money. So it's not telling me what this drone is doing. That's fine. This thing's out for two turns, so I'm fine leaving it alone. All I need to be able to do is get out of this door. I guess I could have swapped Looking a around. cloak. Mm, nothing. Looking around. But I don't think there's much danger here. Oh, and my cloak is cooled down anyway, so this is completely fine. Ping. Why not? And out we go. And here we are. Uh, brace yourselves. There will be some turbulence as we tunnel through the site's transport shield. So we didn't get every console for money. Money isn't such a big deal anymore. Um, so we're going to the foundry lab.